Hi everybody, it's Dr. Salce. Today we have John here, he's one of our great patients, and John's going to explain a little bit about why he's here and why he's using chiropractic and how it helps him. Hi, thanks Doc. Yeah. So um, basically I've been having um, a lot of back issues. Um, I have a little scoliosis as well, so um, I work on the computer a lot, and it's kind of like my daily business. Having back issues since as long as I remember, like maybe as far as like almost a decade. And how are you doing now? Uh, I would say about 80 to 100% better. <laughs> oh, congratulations. <laughs> Since I started seeing you, yeah, yeah. Okay, fantastic. All right, well, why don't we go ahead and go over your x-rays and kind of review those, okay? Yeah, sounds Come good. on over. All right, so what we're looking at here is your neck. This is your cervical spine here. And what we're really looking at is the alignment. And what we see here is that there's a loss of the cervical curve there. And normally what we see is we'll see more of a, of a bend in the neck, like this, and, but it looks like in your case, you're in phase one of subluxation degeneration. Now we're working really hard to get you back here as much as we can. What we're trying to avoid is getting down to these stages here, where we start to see some bone spur formation, loss of disc height. I'm not there yet. Right? You're so not there, no yeah, good. you're actually right here. Okay, okay. Good. good. All right. What it looks like in your spine, is it looks like this here and so you have the disc this is the same material as your ear the cartilage and then there's the nerve that comes out through here and this is your spinal cord and what can happen is these bones can come up and pinch up against those nerves right, right. and what happens is if these bones lock for too long then the body tries to stabilize it by putting excess calcium and bone in that area and eventually the bone can actually get to the point like it's like this. Oh, this wow. is what we want to really avoid in our office. That's like the spurring you were talking about. That's right. These are bone spurs, loss of disc height, and you can see the pressure on the nerve. Oh, that looks really bad. <laughs> I yeah. would never want to get there. You ready to get adjusted? Yeah. All right. Come on over. Let's get you adjusted. Right. So, John, the first thing we want to do is start with your posture. Okay. So, why don't we get you to stand right over here facing me, and let's take a look. And we can see that you're still wanting to shift over this way, but not like it was. It's actually getting better. Okay, yeah. All right. The exercises that's helping. Okay, good, good. And then the shoulders look level. And then go ahead and turn sideways for me. Okay, and we're looking for the alignment between your shoulder and your ear. And we've been working on that as well, and that's actually looking really good as well. So posturally, we're seeing a lot of improvement in your case. Awesome. Okay. Why don't you come on over here? Let's get you to lie on your stomach. Relax here. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in and get a little bit of back. Just going to put it right here. Okay. All right. And um, every time I get adjusted, I feel a lot better after the And I feel like I have definitely less neck pains and shoulder pains. Fantastic. All right, well, thanks for coming in today, John. No Appreciate problem. it. Thank you. Uh -huh.